but Nick, not the result you wanted tonight, was it? Yeah, no, definitely, especially, you know, for Wush's 200th, this is a bit disappointing. Um, but, you know, on the, on the upside, the boys played some really good footy at times and unfortunately couldn't string four quarters together. But, uh, you know, hopefully we'll take a lot out of this week and bring that into the Collingwood game next week. How do you explain the fade out in the fourth quarter? Was it fitness? Uh, look, I don't think it's fitness. I think, you know, we, we spoke about it in the rooms after the game. Um, it's just, it's probably a bit of effort. You know, there was, I think, uh, seven boys on our team that had four plus possessions in the last quarter compared to 13 of theirs. So I'm uh, just there to see that, you know, they're working hard to get the footy inside 50 where we're probably playing around with it a little bit too much and not getting it inside 50 as quick as we could, which we would have liked to have occurred. Yeah. Essendon gave you some opportunities. Do you feel like you hurt them enough on the turnover? Uh, look, probably not in hindsight, but you know that's footy. You know you miss some, you miss some, and you know sometimes the oppo miss some easy ones as well. But yeah, look, Essendon were pretty good. Uh, um, you know, kicking pretty straight, I think, uh, from memory. Um, but yeah, look, unfortunately there were some easy misses tonight. But you know, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. On your own game, is it good to be back playing AFL? Yeah, look, it's been it's great. It's been a bit of a frustrating start to the year with suspension and a couple of injuries, unfortunately. But again, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Sometimes you got to deal with things like that. So. Um, yeah, look, it's been a, quite a testing time, but you know the boys have been great and the coaches have been fantastic. So it was just uh, great to get out there, and you know, I was actually quite nervous, you know, for the first game back. But uh, yeah, it was great to get out there and get amongst it. Got you down here for uh, 15 contested possessions, eight tackles, eight clearances. How do you rate your own game tonight? Um, oh, look, there's a lot of areas to work on, especially you know that was my first game under Ross. Um, didn't play any pre-season games under him because I was injured and. Um, you know, there's a lot of areas of improvement, um, which I'll sit down with the coaches and, and go through that during the week. But look, I, you know, overall, I'd like to think I contributed a little bit. But you know, there's definitely a lot of room for improvement. How hard was it adapting back to the pace? It was pretty, pretty fast-paced game tonight. It, wasn't was, it? it was, and um, you know, I said it earlier in the game to, to someone on the field. I think it was Mick. That, you know, it's a little bit faster at AFL than I'd remembered, and you know, got caught a um, couple of times early. And, also stuffed up a few kicks, which uh, was, a, was a great way to start the day. But, yeah, look, it's definitely a big step up, but it's something that you've got to adapt to pretty quickly or you get caught out. And how did you pull up? Uh, yeah, no, great. Yeah, no, pretty pretty good. So, um, you know, hopefully um, most of the boys do and we'll be chair right for Collingwood next week. Yeah, well, on Collingwood, a massive game. How do you pick yourselves up after that? Yeah, look, as I said, I think there's a lot of positives to come out of it. I think the one thing is just the four-quarter effort. We uh, obviously didn't win the first quarter, which we always come out to uh, try to do. And, um, so that's something we'll be starting with, just coming out of the blocks next week, next week and uh, we're really putting some of the fundamentals that we uh, saw on the field today into, uh, into next week's game, but hopefully do it for four quarters. Thanks, Nick. All right.